Um, so this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. As you can see, T. John is not with me. There's no one here. So T. John's birthday is about a week from today, and I decided that I want to throw her a mini surprise birthday party. I feel like she's always wanted one. I don't. She's never blatantly told me that she has, but I feel like she's always wanted one. And she did throw me a surprise birthday party when I turned. 16 or something like that. She's gonna be turning 17. I had an idea of throwing her a surprise tea party. She wanted to have a tea party for her graduation this year, but unfortunately she won't get the chance to, so instead I'm gonna throw her one for her birthday. I kind of wanted to document it just to look back on later and maybe for her to watch. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna sort that all out. I think it's just going to be mainly family, so it's gonna be pretty small, but I still want it to look really cute. So I went through, she had a Pinterest board that she had made for like tea party ideas. And so I kind of just went through that and saw what she kind of liked. Yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so I've just been to Target, but I ended up going to the dollar spot. You know how you always end up going to the little dollar section in Target? And they had a ton of like party decorations. I'll show you guys what I picked up. For whatever reason, Target had like a baby shower, bridal shower section. So that's where I found a lot of these little bits. But I guess the first thing, they had these um little number balloons. And I picked up these gold ones. By the way, I think my color scheme is going to be white, gold, and this like tealy color. I got this little bannery thing. I don't know if I'll even end up using it because it only comes with six of these little circles, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I got this banner as well. I was going to get like a happy birthday banner that was in the dollar section, but I didn't know if I wanted it to say happy birthday or not. So I just got this blank one and I figured I can write whatever I want on the banner. And then also at Target, they happen to have these little dessert servers. I think they're supposed to serve like for individual desserts. You just put them on this little cake tray-ish type thing. But they were each a buck and I figured I could make my own little tier thing to put little cakes on and whatever. So I decided to pick up plates too. I wanted gold and white plates, but I couldn't find any like substantial gold plates so I just got paper plates for now um, and I figure um, if I find something in the right size I can spray paint it or I can just use the paper ones and that's fine. I can kind of show you what I mean by putting together one of these tier thingies. I also got these doilies. So here's my idea. I want to make, I saw this on Pinterest, but I want to make a table runner out of doilies so I'm just gonna like glue them to each other and then so the table will have a tablecloth and then this little doily thing down the middle and then it'll look so cute with like the little tears and teacups and it'll be wonderful let me show you what I mean by this whole cake mm -hmm. thing okay oh cool you can see all my junk in the back here's what I'm thinking I could put like the big plate at the bottom and then one of these little stand thingies and then Theoretically a medium sized plate, but for now, I don't know, paper plates, whatever. And then another little thingy. And then the top plate. And then it looks so cute. And then you can put like little sandwiches and cookies and whatever. So I got the materials to make two of these little cake stands. I think that'll be really cute. And I got each of these pieces for a dollar. So ultimately I paid one, two, three, four, five, five dollars. For one of these cute little tiered cake stand thingies, dessert stands, when they normally would go for, I don't know, 16 bucks or something. I'm very proud of this, this little find. Hey, look what I did! You remember that banner that I said that I got? And it came like, blank? The little cards came like this. And I said I was going to figure out what I wanted to put on it after. Well, I ended up going with happy birthday. I know how original, but anyways, I'm actually, I think it turned out really cute. So I was like, how am I going to write on these things and make it look nice? Basically what I did is I printed out letters that spell happy birthday on paper and then I traced it on these things and then I just filled it in with Sharpie and I think they turned out so cute. I messed up on one of them, so I let my cousin... He wanted to draw a picture of T. John on her birthday, and that's her, and she has 
like seven legs like a spider who has lost one leg. And that's a little crown, even though it looks like a centipede on her head. Okay, here's another idea I had. I want to use these metal tins that tea comes in and put flowers in them. Don't mind my crap drawing, like I'm not an artist. But anyways, I already have these because I'm crazy and I drink a lot of tea. So I could just turn them into like little flower vases. I think that's a wonderful idea. Also, this tea is amazing. Like this vanilla Camoro. Wow, love it. She's wonderful. Okay, so it's been some time since my last clip and I am now here and right now it's the day of the party and we've done a little bit of prep making macaroons everything's set up here's a setup here some banners and this is all of the food we ended up making really cool see those are like the tier things that i got at target and i made macaroon cookies we have brownies cookies sandwiches and tea now we're just waiting for T. John. so much since I wanted a tea party graduation and that was not possible. Yes. So this is kind of perfect. And <laughs> I really was not expecting to see these people here. But were you surprised? I was extremely surprised. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Success. There's no tea in that cup. <laughs> no, what you need to do. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> it's been quite a successful tea party. <laughs> OMG.